I've got a good video here for you. Um, my preference on sanding down, moulding uh, on these doors, it's not easy. You can use um, different methods, but I'll show you the way I do it. So when it comes to moulding like this, they're never easy, like I was saying. And you usually find on some of them, they're really rough because um, no one can be bothered to take the time to sand them, especially when the door's been stained and you can't really see much. Um, and then someone asked you to paint them white and then it, it just all shows up. So you have to give them a really good sand. <coughs> now, one of the most important things is a dust mask. Um, I save all my sandpaper and depending on how rough you're starting off from, obviously depends on your sandpaper. Um, so I've got different bits, and I also have a new sandpaper as well, in different grades. Um, now, it's the technique more than anything that's important. Like I say, it's not easy to do one of these mouldings. Um, you can use pads like this, but to be honest, they're only good on your final sand before you're about to put your gloss on. So actually sanding it up uh, through the undercoats, you need to use a different grade of sandpaper um, and a different technique because like I say some of them can be really rough and these sponge pads they don't touch it um, so this has obviously been sanded right from the beginning and what I used was some bits out my box that were enough just to get all, all the uh, roughness out of it. Then I put a coat of undercoat on, which hardens everything up, but then still needs sanding back. Uh, and what I'm using now is P240. And this is new stuff. Now, when it comes to... Um, the size of the piece you need, particularly for around the beading. You don't want to be using a big piece and folding it up and having it like that. I'm thinking you're doing a large area quickly because it's quite difficult to hold and the edges touch the glass more and more chance of scratching the glass and like I say, it's more difficult to control. So what I do is actually halve it to that size. Doing that, three fingers can sit on it very easily like that. So when you bring it up, you can hold your three fingers flat and there's no edges actually touching the glass. So that's the first stroke on that inside. Now, let me get a better angle on this. So again, with the sandpaper, that first edge near the glass, you can see how it's butt up against the glass, but it's not actually rubbing onto the face of the glass. Do that top edge. And then what I usually do is turn it up, fit it into that next edge, and then come along that next edge. And then once I've done that, I slightly bend it round to come onto the face of the first curve. But then I drop straight down to that bottom bit, keeping it flat 
and then come along but then I curl back up and bring that bit along to do the next curve on the pole there and then you can just finish the centre off if you've not got it along with the front bit There you go, that's how I sand the moulding, nice and smooth. So again, another coat of undercoat, and then you can use your sponge from then up to your gloss. I might have to put another coat of undercoat on, yeah, it depends, but I'm trying to get them nice and smooth. That's how you do moulding.